Okie dokie. Alright, I guess it's time to go find that professor, but first and foremost, hello buddy! My name's Trippin' and welcome back to Paper Mario, the Origami King. So yeah, last we left off, we just basically explored this town, found a few toads and whatnot, and I'm, I'm sad I can't go up those stairs yet. But it's okay. Because I can at least backtrack to some other point and get some other things. All right now we gotta go find Professor Toad or whatever his name is. So yeah. Gotta take this though. Bye bye. All right. So now that we got Professor Toad, we can at least go to the Sun Altar. Check that out. See what he's doing there. I mean, you would figure that we'd probably cross paths, but I don't know. Maybe since I, uh... What was it? Dad to Dad did the thing with the thing, uh... I don't know. And I assume this is the Sun Altar, so where is he? Hmm. Maybe somewhere else? Could he be on the left? Is there anything on the left that's not just a tower? see a pokey and I'm gonna fucking kick its ass! Hee <laughs> <laughs> Money! I see it. Hang on. How can you tell that was me? I got to work on my cactus impression! Oh no, it's a it's a bird. Nope, nope, nope. You know what? Come at me, you bastard. Oh come on. Mm. Gotcha! Okay, so, are they supposed to represent the birds back from frickin' the, the thing with the thing? Yeah, Super Mario Brothers 2. Ah, I don't freaking know. What I do know is that these guys are gonna get tail whipped. Are you kidding me? Oh fuck. Fine, burn the birds. Oh. Well, that's problematic. Wait, what? Well, at least it kills him. Ow! Alright, let's try at least get rid of these guys. Nope, they still live. And they don't even look like they're weakened. Except the one in the back. Oh my goodness, that ain't good. Why do birds have to be so damn strong? Where's Klepto? Or Buzzard? But they're dead! It's the good thing! Oh, they about got 
Bring you down to half health. Morbid stuff, huh? I need closure! Eh? Free at last! What about you? Did you know that we all have skeletons inside our bodies? And yet you got folded up like freaking paper mache. That does not how paper mache works. Shut up! I know what I'm talking about. There's another one of these towers. Ah, another one of those linky guys. Yep. Again, assuming there's supposed to be four of them. Boom. Come here. For the majority, most of these toads aren't even like placed anywhere that's secret anymore. Ah, thanks for that. This scorching sand river west, by the way. Right on to one of the region's four mysterious towers. Yeah, at least we got all the toads. Yeah, I know. I'll get that hole too. Don't worry. I'll get this pokey first. This hole. Yes! Although apparently I'm missing another hole somewhere. I assume it's in this tower. I can't do a damn thing yet. But yay, I get fire soon. That's gonna be great. How is she not gonna burn? This big jar is filled with water or something, isn't it? But it's all dark and ilky. I don't think it's water, so I wouldn't drink it, Mario. It must be oil. Ew, it smells bad, too. Please consider this a second warning against drinking the water. Oil. Alright. So, yeah, I assume I need the triangle pieces or whatever. I need the Triforce. Where's this Professor Toad at? So it seems I'm still missing toads and even question blocks here. And apparently a collectible treasure I haven't found yet. We must find it. Okay, came back to the city. Maybe he's still somewhere around here. Haha! I'm a jumping masty. I apparently still can't get through that way. I see the toad stuck up there. Hello! A lot of spices. Wait a minute, hang on. Oh, that shit should rock. Hey! Is everything just like flashing green and purple in front of your eyes? Or is it just me? Okay, is there a sniff that I gotta talk to to find? Thanks for your help, front desk sniffing. The room is polished but tasteful. I may have rolled around on the bed a little bit. Don't worry, happens all the time. Oh, that reminds me. Your colleague was asking after a particular trinket we had on display. I didn't want to sell it to him, but he simply insisted. So I'm, I had to talk to this guy first. Damn it! I may have charged a bit more than it's worth. I've been feeling bad about that, so why don't you take another one for free? Sun incense! Incense that smells like the warm maze of the sun! I feel better! Thank you for that! Now if you're still looking for... To meet up with your friend, he went off happily somewhere, I'm afraid. We don't offer concierge services, but you may want to check in with the desert help kiosk attendant in town so you don't get lost. Okie dokie! Thank you so much! So that running around I did! I did! Talk to him first. 
I'm assuming this is the kiosk. Well, there's a help kiosk. How can I help you? Ah, the Great Desert! It's the largest desert in the region, known for its scorching sands. Yeah, right, dry, dry desert's a lot bigger. Many visitors enjoy a trip to the ancient avian statues, and the sun altar is not to be missed. Anything else? Yep, thank you. Alright, let's try this again. Okay, so now we got this item. Are you gonna save here? Really? Really? The game is gonna tell me to save. Shame on you. Okay, I put a dunce cap on it. Now what? Oh, it's smoking. How the smoke is so fragrant. It smells like a sunny day. It's like we're just laying out in the sun without a care in the world. And then... Whoa! My boot! Hang on, would that happen if the boot wasn't there? Oh, it's a boss fight. That's why it asked me to save. Still, I get to decide if I save or, or not. Oh no, it's a sandstorm! Are we trapped? I'm scared, Mario. What's going on? Ah! Look at those spikes, but that's not too bad. Maybe it's just a cool cactus. Hi, cactus! That's a pokey! That's a big pokey. Ah, oh, who am I kidding? And all those small spot no no. Where's the weak point? This isn't good! Wah! Oh lord. Get in the boot, get in the boot, get in the boot, get in the boot, get in the boot. Trying to get close to make it fall first. Ooh, wow. That was simple. Get in the boot, get in the boot, get in the boot! Hee hee! I got it! Okay, don't go un directly. I was trying to sneak through the spikes. Gotcha! Hee hee! Head only remains. Go, go, go! Oh god, now its head only remains! There's a toad in there. Wow, look at all that 
weird chunky confetti. I'm saved? Oh, thank you! You were eaten by a cactus. What was it like? Well, all things considered, could have been worse. Wait! Who are you? I've never seen anything like you. Are you one of the ancient ones? Tell me! Ancient? Little me? Ha! Huh? No, I just live you. Nice to meet you. What's going on in the altar? Who did this? <gasps> yes. Since the ancient rituals were observed correctly. Whoa, you can read that writing? Well, of course. I'm a professor of ancient studies. It's written in the language of the ancient ones. Studying it is my life's work. Yes, we finally found a translator. Now can you tell us what this all means? Oh, I'm so excited to have a professor helping us now. Oh, but before you begin, who are the ancient ones anyways? Well, the ancient ones are people who existed in this geographical region a long time ago. Oh, my voice is going to die. Legend has it that one of these ancient ones still survives today. I haven't seen this person for quite some time. See, I've taken my career to learning more about the ancient civilization based in this desert. One day, I hope to unearth a legendary figure from those times. In the ancient text, he is known simply as Captain Teowad. Oh, that's the one we need the... Captain Von Husen? What a funny name. He's the one that they talked about having the uh, sea chart. How many bit of bottle? What? You think the captain person has something to do with something called a sea chart? Hey, I said it first. Professor, I think we should meet that Captain Teowad person too. Oh, but we needed something in the streamer that does it before that. Wait, can you come with us so you can help translate the mysterious writings? That might help a lot. Well, according to my research, there may be extensive evidence about Captain Teowad hidden in the desert. As a matter of fact, I was conducting research on this very altar when I was consumed. And there's a non-zero chance that I may be uh, consumed again if I continue alone. And not just by my research. Ah, but with Mario by my side, my survival might be more assured. Oh, I digress and blather. I accept your offer. But together we shall yet solve the mystery of the uh, mysterious Captain Tillwood. Great. Oh, this is exciting. Getting to work with an actual professor. Yes, yes. Well, don't get too excited. Much of our time is merely spent uncovering incredible ancient relics being chased by adversaries. Now I know some ancient writing on the second floor of my hotel that might help us. You may have a clue about your streamer as well. Wow, well, you're already so helping so much. Maybe you can even explain all the complicated stuff you just said along the way. I can't space out. Actually, the first time I've ever had a toad as a partner, so interesting. Very yeah, interesting. But first, I'm taking a... Hello! What's that over there? Mario, take a look over there! The ground is quite literally shining! That's what we in academia call a giant clue! Perhaps something is buried there! Now, with your help, I should be able to excavate the site using a shovel! Just stand where you like me to begin and press down D! See what I mean? We struck treasure! I can dig in any soft ground like that! It's like sand or dirt, even if it's not shining! Press down C and I will hop to it! Then we have a lookout for suspicious places to dig! Mm -hmm. And already, immediately, ten times more useful than freaking Bobby. Oh, this is gonna be a beautiful relationship. There's so much sand in my shoes! Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you like it, leave a comment down below, like and subscribe. And if you want to support me in another way, please check out a Mousecapade comics that me and my friend have made in the description down below. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.